Welcome back to day two of doing this side stuff. As long as it works and it's watertight and we can just bloody live in you, then we don't care. So let's go. What are you up to? Another girl had like a sponge thing, so I just put, I just cut a bit of like um, microfiber cloth. I just put it on this tool, taping it on. Just might be better, it might not drip as much as the uh, paintbrush because I've had some terrible drippage. Give the camera a dab. Dab in fam. Like that. What? How do you do it? <laughs> Dabbing, fam. Yeah. See, I'm cool. I'm down with kids. And made microfiber dabber. <laughs> She's the DIY queen. I'm the DIY king, and we both have absolutely no idea what we're doing. <laughs> oh, you have no idea how much I have, I'm having to hammer right in here. I don't know if we showed you the gashy gashes that were in that we uncovered. We're sticking out like a good. Couple of centimetres. Couple of centimetres. Couple of. They just covered them up with that plumbing sticky tape. It's like, we couldn't have built on that. Every time I'm doing a job right now that is redoing someone's work, it's so painful. It's frustrating. And I feel embarrassed. I feel like a mug. But once we actually start the build, I'm gonna be like, yay! And also, <laughs> stress. We're having a debate, cause I'm a, I'm a stickler for wanting to do all of the little jobs that probably that shouldn't need to do. Oh my God, I'm probably sitting on the hammer right there. There's all this tape, I don't know if you can see it in there. All this silver tape that we have to rip just, off the insulation with. Yeah, just pointless bits of tape everywhere, in my opinion. I'm saying don't make a job that doesn't need to be done. It's not gonna look great until we've boarded it up. It's, it sucks. But this is our make and do situation. Project. Yeah. What would you do? Would you clean her up, every single bit of it, even though it's going to be covered by board, or would you just leave what's worth leaving? Let us know in the comments. There's just a little bit of stuff still left around the side, so I'm going to use this and this. Bane of my life. So while Otis carries on cleaning the bloody stuff off again. Um, I'm gonna give a crack at this stuff. Steel stick, JB Weld, world's strongest bond. Let me show you the holes I'm gonna do. Got this ridiculous hole, which I don't even know why that's there. And then these are all the rivet holes, which I was thinking we just cover them, fill them, uh, and we'll make some new holes, I guess. So I'm gonna clean the area with this 99.9 alcohol do not drink and i'm gonna hammer it and then i'm gonna go in with this bad boy after never used it before but hope it goes well wish me luck <gasps> i got it on my hand oh no i can just hear it in the comments like you're supposed to wear bloody gloves i'm going back to a paintbrush because the dabber is too big for these little holes Here on that one, I you hear me? Yeah, I've got to go inside the van to do the other holes, so I won't bore you with the whole thing. But you get what I'm doing. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? I'm a bit hot. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Shut sure. up. The sun's out. Sun's out. First yeah. time in bloody for yesterday, you wouldn't have seen me freaking taking this off and nobody. In fact, I needed three more of them. It was that bloody cold and windy. <laughs> We were just mentioning about cleaning it all up, like we want to clean the floor. We have to go around these battens. I was saying, should we pull the floor up? But they're glued down and screwed down terribly. I've had to screw it in. I mean, that one needs doing. Like, there's a lot of screws that are like at an angle, or, like or sticking up, and it's so painful. It's just the worst. Like, having to redo someone's shoddy work and feeling responsible for it because it's ours now, and then having potentially people be like, "Oh, what shit burn?" It's like, yeah, it is. But we're gonna make her finished. good. We're gonna make her good. I still love her regardless, but it's just like 
We didn't do this! And I don't know what the best way is to clean around this stuff. I think, brilliant. We're gonna just have to like clean around it. Yeah. Okay, so we have finished uh, getting all the sticky stuff off. Stage one, done. Sticky stuff, off. Otis, one. Sticky stuff, nothing. Stage two, clean that mouth. Just trying to be delicate with her swearing. <laughs> Look at this angle. We're doing that, so yeah. What have you just found? Just found a big hole. Add this to the collection of fucking things. <laughs> Look at the size of it. <laughs> We're gonna fill that, are we? Unbelievable. This is what she had on it, just tape. Oh God, help. But as you can see, every day we are coming up against some sort of new problem. It's gonna be a bloody good before and after, hopefully. It is. Yeah. It's really hard to vlog this, because I feel so embarrassed. It is very painful to vlog. If anyone can tell us what that could be used for, please let me know, because I really can't think of any reason. What's the reason? Um, poor guy, just absolutely caning it on his hands and knees. Oh my god, I'm so excited to not walk around and have things stuck to me. If you've been following along, we've just been seeing to our gaping hole in our van for the side flare. But now we're just on this guy, because, uh, you know, curious to see what was under there, really. I like hope there's this nothing one, else that we discover. And it was epoxy, and it's quite hard, and that's okay. That feels the same. This, on the other hand, <laughs> is a shit show. Um, How many of you like, like, what the fucking hell tool is he using to pull that up? <laughs> well, I've just picked something up, mate. I just picked something up that looked like it had a sharp edge of some kind, and uh, I'm sure there's better tools out there, but this stuff is a fucking killer. I don't know if you know, but... I mean, I can full, I can full pull that with all of my strength. At least that's good. We've got some of that ourselves, so. We have. So we were having a discussion. I've been saying, and SJ's kind of been in agreement with me, that we just go in between and clean all the gaps. But we kind of have just thought, I mean, it's going to be long, but we're going to take all these patterns up. And it allows us to do a couple of things. One, we can take the battens out, we can find out where all the holes are and we can fill them with a combination of JB, epoxy and hardener. Yeah. And also the bigger holes that we've got, which we've just found at the back, a bigger hole, we can fill with um, fiberglass with like a mesh. We're setting ourselves back probably at least another week, fortnight perhaps. We can do this inside, it doesn't matter if it's raining, so it's probably just another week's work, like, because we're obviously editing and this and that in between and stuff, like, we've got so much on our plate right now. Yeah, and we've made peace with, it takes as long as it takes. A couple of weeks ago, Otis's mum, thank you Karina, sent us loads of these alcohol wipes from his old work uh, for, like, doing up the van, and we've literally, probably could have done with just, like, two or three, but we've got, like, 20 packs, so... If anyone needs some wipes, let us know. We're the guys you need. Oh, I forgot one. <laughs> now we have to put them all back. Maggie's watching me from this window. <laughs> Maggie's watching me. Anyway, I bet you can't do this. What? Oh my god, you did! Oh. You did one! I'm well proud of you right now. You're so sexy. That's fun for a bit though. Well, fun for a bit. It's such a awkward little curse. Wow. Getting the signage off. I'm hoping this will be nice and satisfying. Oh my days. Oh my god. Oh my. Oh! Perspective. So we've got a slightly bigger hole here using my finger for. So then we asked David and Maggie for their assistance for something that can sort of sit at the behind of it. Now this netting is a bit too big on these parts, but 
this bit on the end. Just to show you how it looks like as well, it's like grey on the outside, black on the inside. When you grab some out, make sure you've got a kind of a bit of both. I am adding to the tiny bit I already had. I hope that's okay. It doesn't say not to do that, so... And you just keep it moulding it in your hands until it becomes, you know, that grey colour that you see up there. So, let's get cracking with these holes then, shall we? When we were going in with the chisel to get this side flare off, little did we realise that we were going to make some tiny little holes in our van. We only did like three, or two. One there, and one there. But now... This is harder. She's doing the holes. On this side. With steel sticks, it's called. Mm, it's, it's pretty good like if you're good with play-doh and stuff you'll be good at this but yeah it's fiddly especially with these tiny holes that big one i feel like i need to fill it with something first because it's just going all the way through well why can't you just get the mesh use the mesh but then how do i get has david got any like chicken wire mesh maybe yeah ask him because i can't get to the other side to sandwich it so if i play with it too much it just falls in but I know that this stuff sets like rock, so to like give yourself less work at the end of it, I think, I mean, there's probably better videos out there to do this, but I'm just like spreading the outside. So it's, uh, what's the word? It's not like stepped, it's like kind of, do you know what I mean? Yeah. So this is what XJ was talking about. Kind of smooth it off. Smoothing the edges, yeah, because yeah. you've, you've got to sand it off. If I was to do this again, which I am, because we're going to do it on the other side, what I would probably do, instead of like covering the hole and making a big thing to sand down, I'd get a bit of it, wait for it to harden, because if you take more of the black stuff inside, I think it hardens quicker, because that's the hardener. So if I waited longer, had it hardened in my hand, or just something to fill the hole first, and then you get it in your finger and just kind of like scrape it on the hole so you're not getting the outside. Does yeah. that make sense? Mm -hmm. Anyway, we'll show you when you get to the other side, but... First time doing that, I think it was alright. Pretty, pretty good well. job. Yeah. So this is where our window, this is our, no it's not a window, this is a side flare, but it's like... Thank you for watching our vlog and a massive thanks to everyone who is still keeping up with us and still watches our vlogs despite our very inconsistent posting these days. Make sure you join us next week, which will be next week for sure, where I get the uh, the holes sanded down. Um, I get sidetracked and do some angle grinding to prep the floor. And I do eventually paint those holes for the side flare to be stuck on, which will hopefully be soon. Not sure when. But thanks for following along. Hope you have a great week and uh, goodbye. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. Bye.